Zero Two is like hard to fall off of. I love that feature about the ski. So the Zero Two is a much wider forebody, very stable. The real idea was like, okay, how, how can we take this feeling that the pro gives, that we all love, really, and how can we bring that into a more forgiving, a more user-friendly, a more efficient way of skiing? How can we take all the good things this ski does and just make it more efficient, not as hard on the body, you don't have to be as aggressive, and I think that's where the Works 2 was kind of born. It's not a pro, but it's got that more traditional feel with the efficiency of modern skis. We've really worked hard on the, the more aggressive tip rocker design, uh, kind of the way the bevel is designed in terms of the front engaging and the back releasing. And ultimately the concave design is uh, deeper and steeper on the concave, something I call a more high volume concave, which gives it the downforce and the stability that a lot of skiers these days demand. Once you get a taste of that, it's hard to let go of. You like the grip, you like the drive, you like the stability, you like the engagement of the finish of the turn, and that Work Zero Two has all that. When you get on it, you feel at home, you feel stable, you feel like you can use the whole ski. Whether you want to use the back, use the front, move on it, anywhere you're on the ski, the ski should be balanced enough for you to feel stable and comfortable on that spot. The width profile of the ski is bigger. It's bigger in the forebody, it's also bigger under the feet. So that's just more surface area for you to stand on. That creates stability, but that also creates less drifting down the course. It's very stable, it turns very well, and I'm not losing space from one ball to the next as much as I am on my previous baseline ski. Stability with aggression around the balls. That was goal that we're hoping people can achieve.